Hi guys. Just a quick vlog. Well, I say quick, it may run on for a little bit. I've just uploaded this video. So I'm just going to finish doing the tags. do I think for the time being can't think of any more anyway so let's publish it I'll do at least for this channel for now put another one up tomorrow um, as far as today goes I haven't done a lot not yet made a video earlier for the Mega Drive as Two of my games arrived. I paid for yesterday, which was that was pretty fast postage. Um, been looking at job lots of laptops on eBay because I want something a bit better than my old HP, which is on Windows 7. Um, I could refurbish it, but I'm not sure I really want to. And there's a actually a job lot on here which is uh, caught my eye, there's a couple of oldies in there uh, got a few items that have, well got one item that will sell on eBay that's uh, got a bid on that ends today there's another two items that end today. I've got a bunch of other stuff to list and I'm currently sorting through some more stuff to go on. I'm really going through my toy car collection to thin it out because uh, I've noticed I've got several duplicates in there and I'm just going to put several together and make one, maybe two or more depending how many I can decide I can part with. Um, job lots of probably, a, I don't know, about 10 cars. Because uh, I can only get away with posting so much um, in one go before I'd go over the weight limit. But I think to keep the number even, I think about 10 cars would do. Um... And I'm hoping the more I can sort out, the less boxes of cars I'll have in my cupboard and the more room I'll have. Because I've uh, sort of concentrating a heck of a lot on my Lego and my old computers and whatnot. So I suppose I could take that Lego model off there and put a few die casts on there. Or take the die casts off and move them and put Lego up there. Not sure yet, that's something I can decide on later. I don't need to fiddle around with that. What I've been doing in here is uh, sorting through this lot. That pile over there by the fan is uh, stuff that can be sold. Uh, that is stuff I need to make sure I haven't got duplicates of. So I'm going to have to chuck these bike frames somewhere so I can get to the crates over there. I know, just park my butt on the floor. I know I've got, um, where is it? Several of these, but I need to go through them to see which ones I'd want to keep and which ones I don't, because there's a lot of them that have got different wheels on. 
So that's got the larger sort of early 1970s style of wheel on it, late 1960s. And I've got another one down here. I did have, here it is. Which has got the older style on. And I know for a fact in my one of my boxes in the cupboard behind me that uh, I've got some more of those. So I am going to go through those. In the meantime, I'm just uh, stacking the cars like this in here. I find I can get more in the box if I stack them tidily like this. So that is what I've been up to. Oh, just found two doubles here, look. Oh, no, they're not exact doubles. The uh, colours are actually different. Uh, I'm sure I've got another one. I'm sure I've got another one. Let me go and get my uh, collector's case. Yeah, I tucked it under here out of the way. So, let me just check, because I can't actually remember what I've got in here. I'm going to sit you uh, there for a minute. When I open the case, I need to... Come on, open up. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Quite a few dupe, ouch, duplicates, it seems. Um, well, something on the lens there, and it's been bugging me. Yeah, if you're looking here, I know I've got one of these up on that window ledge, so that might as well go in a job lot. I don't need that many. Well, that's answered my question to the one over the... No, not that one. Where's it gone? The other one of these. This one's in better condition, so I'll be keeping that one. Uh, I've got two of, two of these. I've got another one in this uh, box. So I'm just going to take a peek, and I'm going to keep the one in the better condition. Mm, not a lot of competition, really, to be honest. Both in... Uh, they're both pretty on par with each other, so I don't think it really matters. Uh, have got any other obvious doubles on the top here? Not that I can see. I have got another one of these over there, so I don't need that. I am just, because I've got several of these sort of 70s vehicles over there, so I'm just refreshing my memory. Uh, I'm pretty certain I've got another one of those red ones over there. Uh, I know I've got an older one of those, which is in the for sale pile. Yeah, I have got another one of those red cars. I can see it from here. Uh, let's just uh, shunt this one across. Oh, that's where I put the rest of my Fords. Uh, no, there's none in that bit, so I've refreshed my memory. keep this case through here though because when I go through those trays in there I'm going to need a memory refresh and perhaps to compare because I know I've got another one of uh, these ambulances in one of those crates so I'd want to keep the one in a better condition obviously so that's that sorted close that lid Well, I'm not going to latch it because I'll have to open it again, won't I? So, stuff that over there. So, set you up here for a bit. Uh, these two I've got here, which were just off camera, they can go in the box. So they are actually clearly a different colour. Uh, 
uh, that one and that one I've already got, so let me go over in the for sale pile. Can't see. Not just by quickly looking over like this, but I've got any more to go. Nope. I think this lot can uh, be stacked. I've got to put that caravan back together, and there's another rooster caravan to be put back together. Okay. Ouch. Kneeling on a bicycle valve. Sadly, someone's actually painted the hood on that black. It should be red. But I would like to find another 57 Chevy from Matchbox. From the Dick Tracy. Um, movie, is it a movie or is it a TV series? I can't remember. I never really watched it. Another variation of that Datsun, I've just found a silver one. That's not a bad thing either. Ford Capri. So I'm turning, unintentionally turning into a uh, bycast car video. I didn't actually intend for that to happen. It's just sort of happened. I'm not going to film at all, I'm just going to film while I uh, put these ones away so I can have a look at the others. Don't see these nowadays. Husky. It's Mark. Mark 2 Jag. What else? Mark 10 Jag. Ugh. Always getting muddled up. I have got a few sitting over there because uh, I'm not actually sure if I've got doubles. The chances are, if I think I have, I'd most likely have got a double of them. Uh, something for this dust cart here, I'm pretty certain. I've got another one of those, which is why I'm sitting out to the side for the time being. Several doubles over there that can go on. There's actually a couple over there I'm not sure of. No, I don't think I will get rid of the Victor or the Zodiac. There's just something about these old matchboxes I love. I'm not really fussed if they are in mint condition and in a box. I just still love them. They're just odd ones I've picked up from car boots over the years. Usually pretty cheap. And there's another variation of that Datsun that's got stripe on it, but that one's in pretty rough nick. But uh, unless I get something with um, which is in um, bad condition, then that wouldn't be staying in my collection. Uh, there's a Mustang I did a custom job on, paint job. Needs a bit of a touch up. It's got steering wheels on it. Got a little, uh, I think it's actually snapped off a little bit now, but like a little peg on the side there that you move and the front wheel steer and uh, that was in pretty rough shape but uh, I did a nice little paint job on it, it does need a refresh as I said I did that quite a while ago I've got a few more custom paint job cars like that though Captain Scarlet Cannot um, oh I remember where I got that one from. Whoops. Just throw that digger in. Stacky stacky stacky. <laughs> Brand new fly truck. made quite a bit of room in here. There's a couple of matchbox horse boxes and one is still got or has still got the horses in it. 
This is their thing. Small corky flatbed lorry. Missing the body and there's yellow paint on there. So I'm not sure if someone's painted a yellow lorry black. Yellow lorry red lorry. Old tongue twister there. Yeah, I'm not sure if someone's actually painted a yellow truck in black paint or what they've done there. If Corgi used a yellow base coat or something. They even used base coats. Right, two matchbox caravans here, and I can't remember. Comes out of this one. think I might have to use a dob of uh, super glue on that. This pink one still got the tow bar but um it's got a set of wheels missing. And the other one appears to have interior and lots of other things missing. No that's still got the tow bar as well so a couple of caravans. I've got one in mint condition in my Little collector's case. But uh, they're different colours to the two I've got in here, which is why I'm kept them. Yes, and look at the Barrago. I was in two minds whether to try and sell that Barrago Land Rover. It doesn't really interest me. It's missing the spare wheel though. And there's glue on the roof where the stickers were. If I sold a dope, I'd get 50p for it. We have a bad and bruised fire truck there. I bought ages ago. I'd like to find a um, the yellow plastic bit that goes on this trailer. Because the trailer part itself is in mint condition. To be, I couldn't find one that... Um, Perhaps we've got battered paintwork, but got the the um, plastic piece for it. Actually, I remember when I was a kid, I had a red one of these. But being a kid, I left it on the driveway, and I can't remember which or who it was. It was either mum or dad, one of them. Um, they'd ran over it with the car and flattened all this bit. Everything else survived. It was just this back bit that got flattened so instead of throw it away what I did was I just snapped these um, back bits off and used it as a flatbed trailer <laughs> uh, I don't have that anymore I think that went years ago well that's it so far and I've managed to make that much room in there mind you all that lot was in there as well I'm going to make at least one box full of emergency vehicles in there. So that's why I've kept these out. I've got to go through them. I've got another one of these in one of them crates. I'm going to keep the um, better one out of the two. I'm just going to make job lots up of uh, spares, repairs, matchbox cars, really. Um perfect for someone who's maybe uh, making a scrapyard diorama which to be honest if I actually had the room and the artistic skills I'm not very artistic my skills is more uh, how would you say it more for um, more technical now give me a computer and I'll put it together and take it apart and make it work and probably stop it from working and all that kind of neat stuff and putting bikes together and a bit DIY, you know, putting shells up. So I did all these shells myself. And that's obviously the shells are level because the cars don't roll off. <coughs> so yeah, that's the sort of things I do. But when it comes to artsy crafty stuff, like painting and making something same as model railways you know you've got to make all the trees and make all the buildings up and 
make all the scene rate. I haven't got the patience or the skill to do anything like that. As much as I would actually love to do something like that. I would actually love my own little model railway layout, but uh, I don't have the room. The, the black record shop where I got this uh, Mega Drive from, that's got a couple of model railway sets in, the actual layout sets from Hornby, which uh, I would actually love to get one. He's got them at a decent price as well, it's £35 each, and they're all boxed and, as far as I know, complete. Um, but uh, I don't have a table or a board, baseboard or anything that I could set it up on and actually enjoy it, so. Otherwise, I'd have grabbed a train set. Which is a bit of a bummer, really. That actually reminds me of when we, when I was a kid. A friend of the family gave me and my brother a couple of suitcases full <coughs> of classic Hornby Railway stuffs. There was track, carriages, some were boxed, some were unboxed, there was accessories, there was all sorts there. And what did Mum do? Go and sell it. I did. I hated her at the time for doing that. She was not in my good books. But uh, at the time, money was needed, so she didn't have a lot of choice, unfortunately. But uh, I don't hold it against her. I think it's something that's regretted by her and us, you know, with the, but uh, back then needs must when the devil drives, and all that jazz on its sort. Cupboard's out, really. What have I got in this cupboard through here? Well, if the weather ever gets hotter, that fan will be coming out of hibernation and going on the desk. But uh, I haven't needed it yet. Um, if I can find a way, or find somewhere even, to put a shelf up in my shed, I'd uh, take all them pots downstairs and put them in there out of the way. That will give me another shelf. I'm selling my other Dremel tool kit. Well, it's not actually the Dremel brand, but it's the same thing. Because uh, I um, decided I didn't need to. Uh, I've got three soldering irons up there, and I already need three. Uh, da -da -da -da. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Not yet, anyway. There's not really anything in here worth selling. And I've got that old motorbike top box that's so probably not worth selling, and I don't really want it, so that may end up down the dump. That monitor I will keep. Hmm. Let's put that idea out the window. I was thinking of putting some more shelves in here. All I did with the shelves in here, as you can see, is put a bit of wood there, a bit of wood there, and a bit of wood on the back wall. That one isn't even on their level, look at that. Uh, simple as that, just to put some shells in here. Can't even remember where I got them boards from. Oh, yeah, I can. There's some boards I salvaged from an old computer desk a uh, friend of mine was chucking out. It wasn't worth keeping as a desk because it basically got too weak and was full of bits and whatnot. So I just grabbed a couple of boards that would make ideal shelves and and uh, put them up. I've got a couple of, I think they're pine boards downstairs. I rescued from another friend because he was going to burn them. I thought they'd make uh, perfect shells, but the problem is I don't actually know where I'm going to put them. <laughs> um, hmm. I really don't know where I'm going to put this. Yeah, I could put shelves on there, but that's a plastic panel, so... I don't think my landlords would appreciate me putting shelves up there, and I don't think that would hold them anyway. No, I'm a bit 
get lost. That is the one arse as well about living in a flat like this. Lack of storage space. I mean, that originally was meant to be a um, built-in wardrobe. In fact, you can see the bar what you would have hung your clothes on. Well, you can see the brackets that would have held the bar that you'd have hung your clothes on anyway up there. But uh, these boards, the shelves, were already in here when I moved in. I'm surprised Victor didn't actually take them out. But, uh, yeah. Which, uh, well, as you can see from the size gap for a bedroom, you know, for a single person like me, you can get your bed, a chest of drawers and a wardrobe in, and still have yards of room. Because uh, the bedroom's not bad size. The lounge ain't a bad size. And for a one-bedroom flat, this isn't a bad sized flat, really. I've got everything I need. Communal heating, so I haven't got to worry about a gas bill. Although the service charge here does cover for the uh, communal heating. There's a boiler, I think I've mentioned it before, there's a boiler on that end of the block. That way. Literally, if I could bash my way through that wall, I would actually end up on the roof of the boiler room. Well, it's like a little... Um, building and it's been halved, one side's the boiler room and one side's the laundry room for the elderly at the bottom. Because uh, that was before we had washing machine points put in these flats. Um, yeah, I've got a washing machine point down here. These flats never used to have those. So you had to use the, um, the uh, communal washroom downstairs or the laundry. Now that flats like this have wash machine points, you can't get the um, tokens to use them anymore. Only the elderly can. Which is fair enough, I don't need to use it. Uh, yeah, you know. This flat, well this room would look so much bigger if I emptied half the crap out of this. Well it's not crap, it's all... It's my lounge stroke Lego room. <laughs> um, that's why I've mostly taken the die casts out of here, actually, because I want it primarily Lego. I've still got a few over there on display. I do like my trucks up there, which is uh, why I actually haven't put any up for sale. one box there, a juice truck. I don't think orange juice would actually come in the tank like that somehow. Right? <laughs> a matchbox, I've done a cheat there, look. Exactly the same chassis and mould for the tanks, just different, a different colour for the super gas one. And the shell's done in, well that would be that mirror finish, you get a lot of fuel tanks in. To obviously stop the tanks from getting too hot in the sun. <coughs> it's actually being towed by a Scania. That's a Peterbilt. I can't remember what the fire engine one is. I don't think that's the right cab for the Pepsi, and it's not the right cab for the Ferrelli one either. Uh, I think I've got a NASA one working somewhere. Or at least the trailers, I don't think I've got the cab anymore. Just looking around to see if there's anything at all else that I'd put on eBay. Nope. I think I've pretty much done it. That lot on there, on my um, little footstool thing, has got to go on eBay later. Yep, there's a PS1 console there. Give that a whirl with a £5 start bit. It's got all the cables. And it will have, when I find one, I can't remember where I've put them, but I've got a pile of PS1 memory cards. I will throw one in with that. 
Well, I can find it. I said I've got a pile of them somewhere. Should be somewhere around over the dam there. That's what I've got. That's all right then. That's okay then. So I'll throw one of those in as well. But I like to put things on eBay in the evenings. The reason being, if you list something in the evening, your item will end it in the evening, and people are most likely to be at home in the evenings. That's my theory, anyway. So I prefer to list things so they end when people are, especially during a weekday like this. Um, so if I list things tonight, for a three day listing, it'll end Monday when people will um, be home from work. So I do like to try to time it around 7, 8 o'clock in the evening when I um, list items on eBay. So, like I said, <coughs> when people are at home after a day's work and probably chilling out at the computer, browsing eBay or whatever. So if they are watching my items, they're not likely to miss it. Unless, of course, something comes along that, you know, distracts them or something, which can happen easily. You know, God forbid a hospital visit or something, which we thought my sister was going to have to do last night, because she's uh, had a filling fall out of one of her teeth, bless her, and she's in a hell of a lot of pain at the minute, because it's got infected. But uh, the dentist won't take the tooth out until the infection's dealt with, so she's got to uh, put up with the pain and taking some large antibiotic pills for, I think, about a week before the dentist will um, remove the tooth. <coughs> See, I don't know why dentists don't do that in the first place, because it saves a lot of trouble. Especially if you've got one of those teeth where um, a filling repeatedly falls out and you have to go back and get it refilled. If you've got to go back and get it refilled repeatedly, you might as well have the tooth taken out, in my opinion. I don't see I don't see the point in going through all those bloody anaesthetic needles all the time, having the tooth refilled because the filling keeps bloody falling out. I'm lucky, touch wood. I've never had to have anything like that. Uh, I have had braces in the past. And I've got exactly one minute before this video clicks over. Or stops and restarts. Uh, so I'll probably be ending this pretty soon. I'll give it five minutes when it stops and restarts. And then I'll end the video. There we go. I've got um, a bit of a large overbite. Hang on, I've got tickly nose and I think I'm going to sneeze. Yes, no, maybe. <coughs> Ooh, yep. <coughs> oh dear. Excuse me. Must be something in the air today. Yeah, anyway. I have got a bit of an overbite myself. I was seeing an orthodontist back in high school and they gave me these um, special, special, I'll try that again, special type of brace which um, they clipped on, they were removable. One went on my lower jaw and one clipped on at my top jaw. They had four um, two blocks on each one, one either side of my mouth, and the idea was, when I closed my mouth, it forced me to bring my bottom jaw forwards. And then the orthodontist turns around and says, if that didn't work, they wanted to break my jaw and reset it. And that was like, well, that was when I was like, Ian, you can F off. Obviously, I, you know, I didn't actually say F off. I just stopped going. Because, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I may have an over or an underbite, I should say, not an overbite, an underbite. But uh, I can chew perfectly fine. I can eat perfectly fine. 
you know, it's not being any trouble whatsoever. I may do a teeth rubbing on the roof of my mouth. I may get a sore on the rare occasion. But uh, apart from that, I don't get no trouble, so why fix something that's not broken? <laughs> Only because the dentists bloody want... Um, I know they'll get paid from the NHS, you know. I'd, I was an NH or I am an NHS patient. So uh, I suppose the more work they can do to a patient, the more money they get. Which I think is a bit harsh, putting a patient through unnecessary pain and discomfort if it's not going to be much of a problem. I mean, that was got to be over 15 years ago now and I've survived this long I survived through my childhood so if it was going to be a problem it probably would have been a problem long before now so as I said you know why fix something that's not broken just leave it <sighs> I'm sort of trying to um muster up the motivation to go into that bedroom and pull all those uh, crates of cars out. Because, uh, like I said, I don't need duplicates. A lot of them I kept just because I liked them when I had these uh, sort of moments where every time I saw a specific car, like the Ford LTD police car, I had to buy it. It's like, oh, four. Every time I went to car boots, if there was a box of cars and there was any of those police cars, or the Plymouth Grand Fury from Matchbox, that was the other one, I had to buy it, regardless of what the fact that I had several at home or not. But uh, the problem is doing that, it sort of filled my collection full of duplicates. So, I'm going to have a good thorough sort out. There's probably some in that collection that I don't really care for either that I just bought at the time. Perhaps if there was like an offer at a car boot where you could buy, I don't know, four for a pound or something. So I'll just chuck another one in just to make up the four. So there's probably a good few in there I can get rid of, I think. Um, oh, my computer guy has messaged me. to him. He's just put lots more comp bits. We'll try to sort later or in the morning. Are you interested in flat screen monitors? Uh, I am. Um, if they're sort of close to this size. I can't remember the inches on this one. What size is it? It's my tape measure. Oh, I'll throw it right up in the bloody corner. Right. It is... It's a 22 inch. Yeah, because I wouldn't mind some spare monitors this sort of 22-inch size because, uh, you know, this one's not going to last forever. Although, bless it, it has done well. It really has done well. Now I've got that little Sony one there, which actually came with the Sony PC down there. Uh, I've got the other one in the kitchen, which I use for when I'm playing with computers, mostly because it's got that water damage at the bottom of the screen, which is what those white spots are, if I haven't already mentioned that in computer videos. Um, it came out of a shop bar. There was a shop in town a couple of years ago, Cash Factory, that um, they had an electrical fault developed one night in their back room and um, set the shop on fire didn't damage the main floor, only damaged the back room, so they did reopen after they'd repaired that. 
but naturally because the stock had got so smoke damaged and there was also some water damage they, could, they had to clear everything out and a friend of mine helped with that and I ended up with that flat screen in there I've got another one uh, up on a shelf in the cupboard in the bedroom um, that's quite old now as well, but still working but they're only 15 inches like that and, uh, I'm now so used to a screen that size, you know, sort of a widescreen mono to do with something of that size as a spare in case that one does shit the bed I had been tempted to use my TV over there as I don't use it for anything else but uh, that won't go on that computer desk, I'd end up having to swap back to this desk which isn't really a problem I suppose but I do like that desk although because I've been <laughs> using it for so long that there's damage down there from where I rest my feet with my boots on and I've got bit, bits of the surface all taped up on here because I've caught it with the bloody um, art knife wherever that is that I used to what was I using it for? tried to cut something with a knife and forgot and that went straight through and into the bloody plastic covering on that and damaged it but apart from that sort of cosmetic wear and tear it's still solid it does uh... no it's not too bad, it does rock a tiny bit there was um... CD racks in these bits but uh... I wanted a bit more storage space so I just ripped them out which is why they're not there now. And I don't have many CDs to store anyway, they're all over there. In fact, I could probably throw half of those out if I really wanted to. There's a few PC games up there, you know, I've got Theme Park. Is it Theme Park? Yeah, I want to try and get Theme Hospital. That's a quite an expensive one to get hold of. I don't know what games I've got. I've got Theme Park. SimCity. And multimedia pool. Wow, that's old. For Windows 3.1 and 95. Well, that's on a CD, and both my 95 laptops don't have CD ROMs. So, yeah, that's those out of the question. I don't know if they, it would, uh, not they, it will run on Windows 98. I've got Windows 98 laptops, so I can try them on. Or laptop, I should say. Maybe that's something I could do later, install the games on there and see if my uh, compact Armada E500 Windows 98 machine will actually uh, run any of those games. Should do. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. Because if I chat on any longer, then I won't get anything bloody done. I've got a bike to go and sort out downstairs. So I've got the uh, dryer to sort out. Well, I suppose I could do that tomorrow. As long as it's done before it gets picked up. If it sells, it may not even sell. I have had um, times like that where I've had to list a bike three or four times before it actually sells. But uh, actually, recently I've sold every bike that I've tried to sell, so. And most of which have uh, started off as just a frame and I've built them up and sold them cheap and I usually sell them depending what they are what condition they're in anywhere between 20 and 30 pounds and I don't do these uh, 50 quid bikes that I see listed on Gumtree which I don't think I'd actually ever pay 50 quid for because they never look worth it but uh, also depends on the um, make of bike so didn't know if it was a, a known brand or a better brand or whatever you want to call it and it was in good condition then yeah I'd up the price a bit more than 30 quid but 
on average, because a lot of the ones I get in are uh, lower end bikes, then it's usually 20 to 30 quid, depending on condition. Um, I don't do charge bikes, not usually, because they are a pain to sell. I've never had much success. The smallest I'd go for to try and sell would be ones with 24 inch wheels. Is sort of, uh, I don't know, eight, nine, ten year old sort of size bike. Um, I have managed to shift those fairly easily, but anything smaller, you know, you're really for young kids, unless it's a BMX, then it's extremely hard to sell them, so. That's why all those kids' bikes I was given, I broke for parts, because otherwise I could have spent the time fixing them, but I know damn well I would have had them kicking around here for months on end before, I saw, before I'd uh, sell them, because I've done it before. Been there before with a uh, girl's bike. It's in lovely condition. Didn't need a lot of work. Actually, I had to replace the brake levers because they'd snapped. But aside from that, I didn't have to do anything to it, and it took me a good two months to sell the bloody thing. So now I usually don't bother with the really small kids' bikes. Because most of the time, you know, it's a, it's a kids' bike. We were all kids. We know what kids are like. They get bad, they get bruised, they get broken. I'm talking about the bike, not the kids. You know, they get damaged, they get thrown about, left outside. So half the time a kid's bike really isn't worth pissing around with. It's only worth breaking up for bits and scrapping the rest of it. Which is why all three, I'm oh, sorry, all two of them so far are on there. I've still got one to salvage a few parts from. <clears throat> I'd actually think Andy is likely, or Andrew, Andy, Andrew, I'll call him Andy because that's what I call myself. <laughs> um, I don't know what he actually prefers, to be honest, I've never asked him. Um, I should think he'll sort his computer, all those computer bits out in the morning. I suppose it depends how busy he is this afternoon. Because he does a lot of... Um, or his business is house clearance. House clearance, office clearance, um, collecting scrap metal, and he'll, uh, anything he gets from clearances that are worth selling, he'll sell. He's even got some plants he sells. So, yeah, I've had several things from him in the past. I've bought several things. I've actually got cordless drill at Mum's. Ambulance. Someone's having a shitty day, unfortunately. Yeah, I've had a cordless drill. It's a challenge drill from Argos, which actually is pretty good for what it is. I think I paid... Did I give him for that? Tedder, I think. I got a vacuum cleaner when mine died from him for a tedder, which Mum's now nicked off me, which is why I've got that. There. Henry vacuum cleaner that works from a 110 transformer because that's what um, my stepdad used to use when he was uh, fitting carpets which was till his back started playing up and then he had the motorbike accident his uh, main career he fitted um, commercial floors in um, supermarkets airports, hospitals, that sort of thing that's what his career was and of course, on site in the UK, you have to use a 110 transformer for all your power tools. So, uh, I was sort of half inched this one when Mum half inched my upright. Because Mum can't use that because she's got back problems. So, I gave her my upright because it's easier on her back, and I half inched the Henry. <laughs> I'm not bothered so long as it sucks and cleans up the floor. Right, well my battery's about to go and I don't have any more batteries charged after this, so... 
I'm going to end the video before I ramble on too much more. So, uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you hated it, hit the dislike button. If you really hated it, then rant and rave or whatever in the comments section. You know, it's entirely up to you. The comments section is there for you to use. So if you want to troll me, troll me. If you don't want to troll me, don't troll me. If you want to give helpful advice, give me helpful advice. If you don't want to, then don't, you know. The comment section is entirely up to you what you put in there. Um, life is too short to worry about what people are going to say, so you say what you want. Oh, that'll be a future project before I go. That trailer needs a fresh coat of paint on it. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but there's a lot of rust starting to show through. So I'll have to give that a good old sand down and fresh coat of paint. I think I do that once every couple of years, actually, so that's not bad paint I use. It's only a cheap tin from QD. Anyway, as I said, video is going to end here, and I'll uh, talk to you again later. Bye.